By now, those of you with uh, access to media have probably heard that our good friends and colleagues, Matt and Trey, uh, got in a little bit of trouble during the airing of their weekly animated series, South Park. And by trouble, I mean veiled death threats. <laughs> it was a provocative episode uh, where they addressed the Islamic prohibition on depicting the Prophet Muhammad. Uh, their solution, of course, as is the solution to many of life's problems, uh, bear suit. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the same way I got out of jury duty. Um, <laughs> by the way, it, it turns out it wasn't really Muhammad in the bear suit. It was Santa Claus. And, and I say that not to enrage the elf community. <laughs> but I, I guess when you're dealing with irrational anger, uh, the facts of what the show was aren't really the issue. Comedy Central decided to censor the episode. It's, it's their right. We all serve at their pleasure. I, I have more than once been called out of my home on a Sunday to dance for the head of programming at, <laughs> at his winter chalet. But he goes on from there and he talks about how um, Comedy Central was feared for employees, so uh, they decided to pull it and he just moved on. He thought that was perfectly all right, which I was really surprised at. That John Stewart thought it was cool that Comedy Central is censoring all... The, and, then they, and then he plays a montage of all the, 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 the ways they've made fun of Jews, um, Christians, Mormons... You name it. Right. And I'm not exactly sure. It didn't come together for me as a point. Okay, so you're saying you are irreverent and wacky, and you'll say anything about any religion except for this one you won't say anything about, and you agree that you we can't, all all of us, we all agree, mm -hmm. Comedy Central, and I agree with Comedy Central, we can't make jokes about this religion. We can offend other people on any level with that religion because they're not crazy maniacs, but right. this one we can't. right. And so we give in to those people. Apparently. And embolden them. Yeah. So uh, Comedy Central bleeped that episode when they re-aired it. Bleeped out all references to Muhammad. And Kyle, the con the, the, the character on the show, he, he usually ends up the show with a little speech. Kind of a moral of the story or whatever. Or just wise crackery. Maybe but, people can get together. Right. Um. His customary final speech was about intimidation and fear. And Comedy Central cut it. It didn't even reference Muhammad. Not even indirectly. It was just about, and Comedy Central cut it. The parts where they did reference Muhammad sounded like this. Kenny, dude, what the hell? You're supposed to be watching <laughs> Oh, thank God. Hey, really sorry about all this, dude. So what the hell? So he says, you're supposed to be watching Muhammad. I am. He's right here. I love figuring out what Kenny's saying. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but so they bleep out the word Muhammad because they're afraid. Matt and Trey wrote me a little note. Matt and Trey aren't afraid, obviously, because they made the episode, but Comedy yeah. Central's afraid. Well, they heard us talking about it, and, and they wrote a note, by which I mean they posted a statement on their website. In the 14 years we've been doing South Park, we've never done a show that we couldn't stand behind. We delivered our version of the show to Comedy Central, and they made a determination to alter the episode. It wasn't some meta joke on our part. Comedy Central added the bleeps. In fact, Kyle's customary final speech was about intimidation and fear. It didn't mention Muhammad at all, but it got bleeped, too. We'll be back next week with a whole new show about something completely different, and we'll see what happens to it. That's something, though, isn't it? This is not the way we're going to win, uh, free society. The war of free society against not free society. You don't win by backing down and being afraid. God, that is just disgusting. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's uh, make it more personal, though. Let's be fair about this. If we had, if the afternoon show here on our radio station was a... Um, super out there going after the uh, radical Muslims and, I don't know, uh, portraits, paintings, pictures, mocking of Muhammad, whatever, and getting death threats. And death threats are coming into the radio station. Would you be cool with that? Would you think that was fantastic? Or would you just soon uh, not work at that radio station? Because that's what Comedy Central's argument was, that the employees of Comedy Central are in danger because of what the creators of South Park, the message that they want, the political message they want to make. That was their argument. Yeah, I appreciate the difficulty of their position. Um, hey, they might have looked at, they might have talked to some lawyers and figured out, they might just be that. They might have talked to some lawyers and said, um, you aired something you knew was going to cause harm to come down on your building, your employees, anybody gets hurt, they're going to sue you for a gazillion dollars. Oh, great. Um, 
I appreciate the difficulty of their position, but we as a society, we as a um, a civilization, have to come up with a way to respond to this. I mean, because as this becomes more and more, sim- you know, uh, systematic, and it is, by the way, in uh, you know, go to go to suburban Detroit, Michigan, Flint, Michigan, those giant uh, Muslim enclaves, where they are now running the show. And the intimidation has pushed away one civilization in favor of another in the United States. And there are other examples of it. If we don't come up with a way to respond to that, well, the other civilization wins. Okay. Okay. Here, let's take the, let's take the experiment a little further. I have drawn a picture of Muhammad. I want to see if you want to hold it up to the camera. I've drawn a picture of Muhammad. Do you want to put this picture of Muhammad up for the camera? I think more interesting would be, do you want to hold it up? Well, do you want me to? I will. I will happily. Do you want to have the show have a picture of Muhammad on camera? I'll I'll write underneath it Muhammad so people know what it is. Well, I was going to say, in what sense is that a picture of Muhammad? In the exact same sense that it was on South Park. Okay. It's almost the same drawing, except I put a different hat on him. It's Muhammad, but he's wearing like a... He's wearing like a uh, a hat with a little ball on the top. Because it's cold out wherever he is. What do you call that style of hat? Like a snow cap of some sort. All right. Well, that, there you that's, go. that's Mohammed wearing a snow cap. So now you've done it. Well, it's the same thing South Park did, and there is a uh, a website based out of New York, as John Stewart pointed out. Hello, based out of Manhattan, that uh, has videos of Theo Van Gogh with a knife sticking out of him. Sergeant Lester of, I believe, God, there's a lot of letters here. I can't tell what. Uh... He's in the army or what? Oh, he's a he's he's a marine. I just watched the two South Park episodes that you two discussed. I had to download them because they were pulled from iTunes. I'm a sergeant in the U.S. Marine Corps, and I can't believe the people of this country that I fight for and the millions of servicemen before me uh, and what they have done will voluntarily give up their rights to Islamic extremists. We have so given in to them they don't need to attack our country with bombs to get us to bend to their will. We're at a point that we do it voluntarily. I wish the media would do as one of your callers suggested and put pictures of Muhammad all over the place. Magazines, newspapers, television, whatever it takes to show them we are not afraid. A few years back, you guys reported on a Marine that started a website selling bobblehead Muhammads. I served with that Marine in Japan back in 03. He is still alive today, so someone has done it in the past. Now it's time for us to show that we will not cower to the idiotic demands of Islamists. Okay, I want to be fair here. I just made a picture of Jesus. Hold that up to the camera. That's Jesus, except he's wearing a baseball cap. And he has the traditional beard. And he has facial hair. That's a picture of Jesus. He appears to be walking. Your stick figures are getting more and more lifelike. (laughs) I congratulate you.